Okay, so we look at question 17. Now they give us two functions, okay? Function 2x and another function is negative log x. They didn't give us equation already. Uh, so look at the question they asked us. They said, without using your curve sketching, you have to show that this function and this f, uh, function number 1 and function number 2 are in the set, are in the set on this interval. So when they are in the set, so what is the concept they are using? When they are in the set, means they are equal. Uh, they were equal to each other. So our 2x should be equal to negative ln x. Uh, so that is how we solve our simultaneous equation so that the function can intersect. We can find the intersection point. So this is what's mean by the in intersect. So the equation will come to us like this. 2x equals to negative ln x. So in order to get the function that we can prove here, so we need to put it in equation. Uh, so that is the function that we use. Okay, so that is the general function we use. Here is 2x plus non x. So please show that uh, they have intersect means they have the roots, uh, they have the x value in between 0 0.1 and 0 and value of 1. So we go into substitute 0 0.1. Okay, so we will get negative 1.0. Uh, make, make sure 3 significant. Okay, so like this, uh, already enough 4 significant. So this is negative less than 0. Then we substitute another value interval that we need to prove here, which is negative, uh, which is value of 1. Okay, 2 times 1 plus ln 1. So what is the value? 2. Okay, positive. So from here, we can do our conclusion. Uh, we have different side. Since f01, 0 0.1, 0 .1, negative. f1, positive. There has... different sign so therefore there exists at least a root uh, a root uh, a root in between a root so we can follow the sentence on the in the word of 0 0.1 and 1 so that that means we have the intersection point on that so this only have two marks so this two mark will be going on your way of substitution and your conclusion okay then we proceed to our next part so our next part we're going to use Newton Raphson method estimate the intersection point. So, uh, beside we want the x value, we also we want the y value. Uh, we want the point. Okay, we not 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 only want the solution x. We want the point. So, if the initial value. So these questions they are given us initial value. So from this initial value. Uh, correct your answer to three decimal place. So back in my calculation, extra one or two decimal. That is the maximum extra two. You cannot move extra three. Yeah? Uh, so the rules is like that. So this topic is easy, uh, but it has a lot of rules working that you cannot, uh, you have to follow. Okay, so from the function, so we want to start our Newton Raphson method for our function. We have to differentiate so that we can use our formula. So differentiate non, starting is equal to differentiate near the atas. So therefore our Newton Raphson method as n plus 1 equals to x minus the function which is 2x plus ln x over differential function. Okay, so we just 
this question just was want you to estimate out the point estimate out the value on it okay so for the initial value x1 equals to 1 so in order to find the continuous value x2 we're going to show uh, 1 then here plus 1 uh, substitute 1 show out our working clearly then only we start to press our calculator so our formula will be alpha x minus fraction so function is up there 2 alpha x plus non alpha x and then down here will be differential function 2 plus fraction again 1 over alpha x so as long as we press in our formula correctly then we can start calculate what's your starting value x which is 1 ah remember fraction don't take we want decimal we are playing around with decimal 0 0.33 how many 3 so i extra uh, extra 1 lah. i extra 1 or extra 2 okay so i extra 1 0 0.333 then for the next value x3 uh, i will have to show it again 0 0.3333 minus or this time we can write it in short which is the label of fx over the label of f prime x then already enough uh, so actually this step is going to show the examiner that you know what is good what is the value you are going to substitute on okay then we calculate 0 0.3333 okay so 0 0.4197 uh, 97 okay so we're taking four so you have to consistent yeah if you start in calculation with four decimal okay three plus one four decimal so your uh, next value also four decimal uh, you cannot suddenly here i choose three then i choose four then i choose five i cannot you cannot not consistent our value should be consistent because every decimal will affect our answer okay so we consistent four decimal so for this four decimal so this is one so no need to no need to round off so for the next calculation the working is no need just use your calculator only Four two six two seven. So need to round off six three. Okay. So still need repeat. So need to calculate until we get repeat. So zero point four two six three. Yes, this is repeated. Okay. So we can stop here. Okay. Stop here. No. No more calculation. Proceed. Do your conclusion, the x value that we should rounding off using 3 decimal, 4, 2, 6. Uh, this is the question asked. So, we're going, to, uh, we're going to double check. Yeah, we double check first. This is we are doing correctly. So, we double check using our equation. This is the equation 2 alpha x plus ln alpha x. So, equal... 0 shift soft okay 0 0.4263 okay so just three significant 426 okay so then we can get our answer and uh, then that will be confident uh, we are confident at our answer our working everything so from here this five marks okay how we going to look at this five mark what is important part so of course the first part is our differential equation if differential function here and then show us okay show us by using so this initial value is given so that's why we don't have any marks here uh, you don't need to find it by yourself right so we just use it so but you have to show us uh, clearly how you use this initial value substitute into the function over differential function and then uh, and then we're going to calculate until you repeat and then you get this answer okay so but for this 
uh, questions we haven't finished because we are not finding we are not finding roots we are estimate the point so we have to find out what is our point what is our y coordinate so in order to find our y coordinate so we have to substitute our x coordinate into our function uh, To find out the y coordinate here, uh, what is your y coordinate? 2, okay, so, okay, so don't substitute wrongly, yeah, huh? substitute either one, okay, this is uh, our combining equation already. Uh, we already combine function 1 and function 2 to find the roots. Okay, when we want to find back the point, uh, we will find back what is your function. So we can choose either this function or this function to be substitute. So I choose the easier one, 2x. Okay, so that will be our final answer point. So five marks. Okay, so at the beginning, why we substitute back? So uh, let me explain again. Uh, kenapa kita bukan substitute ke sini? Uh, so asalnya, uh, as our knowledge just now, asalnya kita ada dua graph. Yeah? Dia kata tak boleh guna graph sketching. Maksudnya, saya tak boleh lah pergi lukis linear, uh, pergi lukis lawn, negative lawn, uh, macam ni. Uh, saya tak boleh pergi lukis dan saya cari keluar. Oh, sini ada uh, jawapan di antara 0.1 dan 1. Saya tak boleh guna macam ni. Okay, so saya ada dua graf. Uh, so, bila saya nak cari intersection point, mestilah uh, y equation pertama, y equation kedua. Kita substitute, kita dapatlah equation. Uh, become a non-linear equation. Kita nak solve, uh, kita nak selesaikan non-linear equation ini. So, bila kita dah uh, kita dah dapat teka, uh, kita guna algebraic method, dah dapat teka, dia adalah, dia ada solution di antara 0.1 sampai 1. Uh, then, kita proceed guna Newton Raster method untuk kita carikan nilai X dia. So, daripada equation ini, uh, bukan graph yang original. Uh, ini graph 2X, ini graph ln X, negative ln X. So, ini adalah hasil equation equation simultaneous mereka bila saya nak buat intersection kan so ini bila saya buat equation y 1 equals y 2 ha, ini adalah equation nak selesaikan ha, simultaneous ha, simultaneous equation mereka so apa yang kita guna Newton Raster method sekarang adalah menyelesaikan dia punya equation simultaneous ha, kita tak dapat nak factorize kan tengok kita tak dapat nak factorize formula pun tak ada so guna lah Newton Raster method dapat dah cari koordinat x so bila dah dapat koordinat x of, of course ha, bila kita dapat dapat simultaneous just imagine this is equation 1 this is equation 2 kalau kalau kita dah dapat uh, x koordinat mestilah kita substitute balik salah satu equation so kita salah kita substitute salah satu sama ada kita boleh substitute equation yang pertama 2x ataupun kita substitute equation yang kedua negatif ln x jawapan kan sama so begitulah kita dapat kita dapatkan intersection point yang kita nak cari daripada dua function tersebut boleh faham ke